Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what I went ahead and did for you, Tess, is I did a lot of the programming for you, enough for you to go ahead and get by and get familiar with the system. Right. Now, this is has unlimited options. I think you're allowed 250 different colors of the rainbow here. Wow. So I went ahead and did 10 for really? you. I'm a guy, so I, I get the basic 10 for you. <laughs> um, now, if we go ahead and go to the theme button, I'll go ahead and get you familiar with that. I created three different themes for you, and let's just give it a moment to pop up here. Actually, let's see if we're linked into the... Are you linked into the Wi-Fi here at the property right now? I should be, but... You should be? Um, okay, let's just take a quick peek. Uh, maybe... maybe can, just, can I go ahead and just touch yeah, your phone real quick? Sure. Okay, so we'll go back to home button. Make sure we're logged in with the controller. Uh-oh, not responding. Not responding. Let's make sure that you're logged in with the Wi-Fi. Can we just check to make sure you're yeah, on this yeah, Wi-Fi? It's the D... The one that was provided to me. Uh, the Wi-Fi, the network DB5 does not appear to be connected to the internet. Okay, keep trying. Yeah, let's okay. try again. We can even go to your settings button. It would be the 70 DD5B would be the one. Yeah, so it's the 70 D5B because that should be because that's like the longer distance. One. Yeah. Okay, it's it could be it just connected. Just, okay. okay, let's go ahead and go back to the Luxor app. Maybe it took a little while for it to cycle through here. Because it's a new app. Too. Well, I know, maybe we just yeah, Wi-Fi is always so. Uh, could be finicky. Let's see what it says here. I need to go back and not responding. Maybe close out the app completely. And just close it out and open it back up. So I guess when on these new phones they were showing me to close it out. Yeah. Yeah, like go slowly. I, I don't know. Or, uh, no, as long as you close it. Now let's okay. go ahead and open it again. Okay, there we go. Okay, Connecting. It may take up to one okay. minute. Okay, so do that. There we go. Okay, let's tap on the controller button. Just verify. Connected. Okay, fantastic. Connected. Now we'll hit the back button, top left hand. Okay, we'll hit the theme button now. So I went ahead and provide us with okay, three different yeah. themes. Okay. So one is no color, just regular uh, light. light. Okay. The other is color changing, the other is green. So just to see what each one does, go ahead and hit the play button on the no color. It's that little guy there. Okay, so right now it says applying no color theme. So if you know to see this light right here, I, oh, I rotated go. it this way okay. just so we could see it. Okay. So now you may be wondering, well, what is no color theme? What does that mean? Is so that see, like a soft white or is that a yeah. cool white? <laughs> it, it, so let's find out, right? Let's uh, oh, okay. go, see that right directional arrow there? Okay, so now we're going to find out exactly uh, what okay, each fixture is doing. So the fixtures, they're numbered numerically um, by group. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There is no uh, group one because the factory programs all lights group one. So because ours is so specific, we start with the number two. Now you may wonder, well, which one is number two? We start from left to right. Okay. So, so. for instance, number two would be the farthest left. Okay. Now, if you notice, we have a value of 49 there. That means we're only operating at 49%. So to go ahead and increase that, go ahead and slide that dot across. See how we just increased that particular okay. light. The, uh, see from here, but it would be. The dimming, correct. Okay. So that it would getting get brighter, brighter and brighter. dimmer. Okay. Now just. Just by way of remembering, that light there, it's actually number nine. So if you scroll up to nine, now go ahead and just dim it or increase it. I don't know if you could tell, but it just got brighter. Now go all the way down, and it will practically go off. Number nine there. Oh, there See how it just go. went off? Okay. Yeah. So it could be that on some of these smaller features, when they're by the stone, maybe you only want to operate at 25%. Yeah. But perhaps the one that's uplighting that back tree in the statue, maybe you want that one going at 80%. Right. So that's one of the adjustments that you're going to make at nighttime. Okay. You know, we can only get so far here during the day. Yeah, but this great. just goes, goes ahead and shows you what you could do. So if, just remember, we have two, three, four, and then kind of work your way across. It would be five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine. And at night, it's going to be so much easier because you'll just zoom so up. So it goes all the way. You kind of come this. I mean, it's kind of like a clock. Well, so yeah, three that, would be the one furthest and then, yeah, and let I me, mean, two. Before I walk away here, I'm going to go ahead and just have you take a photo of this. It's just a little sketch of exactly what oh, light perfect. is. Okay. And you could do it after if you like, or you could do it now. No, just do it now. That. Yeah, and then you could refer to it, maybe print it out on a piece of paper or, or laminate okay. it. Okay, perfect. Then, so yeah, nice so that, that will be familiar okay. with the no color theme. Okay. Now, the theme button, that's kind of like our home base as far as what we're doing with the lighting system. So if we go back, we'll hit the, um, the save button, and you can make any adjustments you want on that theme. So we need to come out here and you'd say, well, that one I want at 50%, so on and so forth for the no color. You don't hit the save button, it will save everything. Okay. Now you're probably wondering, well, what's the color change button do, right? So let's find out. Let's hit the color change. And then we'll go ahead and apply that theme. We'll give it a minute. And you see how it's starting to rotate there, the colors? Yes. So mm -hmm. it's going to cycle through each color for about 10 seconds. So give it about 10 seconds, and it will cycle through to the next one. 
and it's starting to go a little bit red there. See how it takes 10 seconds yes. and it starts to change, then green, and then so on. So it'll go through, it's called the color wheel, okay. is what it will go through. So that is fully adjustable. Um, again, I gave you the general parameters of, of you know, 10 second auto changing. If, if you're into kind of technology and stuff like that, you go to the transformer and change it for like 25 seconds, 30 seconds, you know, I think five minutes is the, is the thing there. Uh, but that's another adjustment that you could make to kind of dial it in to make it your own. So okay, generally you for most go people- the over there to do it. Yeah, to the color. And Mike gave you the paperwork on that. Or if you okay. have somebody younger in the family there, do it like in 10 seconds, as opposed okay. to me taking 10 minutes to do it. Um, but yeah, so that's okay. the color change theme. So everything's changing, right? So let's go ahead and go one more to the green. We'll just tap on that green guy there. And I did that color just for sake of having a specific color. Um, a lot of times people like for Halloween, they'll do like all orange right. or St. Patrick's Day, everything green right. or uh, USC fans, red and gold, the yeah. alternate lights. So just something to, to show you how we can make that happen. Go ahead and click on the right arrow next to the green there and we can get really specific. Meaning that particular light that we know that's light number nine. So if you just scroll up and let's go and click on that right directional arrow for nine, the far right there, the, the arrow there, and that's the one. Uh-huh, that's the one. And it's gonna give us an option as far as what we do with that color. So see where it says C5, the green color? Go ahead and tap on that guy there. Ah. And you go and pick any one of those colors. Now, like I said, I only picked 11 colors. Now, perhaps you'd like to create a color, right? No, you can so even it, do your own. All these thing. spots are empty. So the C12, if you like, go and click on that. And uh, click on the C12 button there. Oh, okay. I got to take you through another, another step there. But that, that will allow you to choose what color you would like there. So all these spaces, you go and fill up with all the different colors that you like. Great. Okay. Okay. So we'll go and hit the save button there. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Let's take it back to five. Put five there. There we go. Now we'll hit the save button. Okay. So that allows you to get familiar with every single fixture as far as dimmability. So are we familiar with that? Did I go too fast on it? For the dimming? Yeah, it's just doing that. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Okay. Now we can go ahead and hit the, the save button up top. Now I'm gonna do a couple last features with you before I kind of wrap it up. One is the color button. See the bottom right hand? Yeah. Correct, let's see. I'm sorry, groups. Let me just scroll up here just to make, because they update these things all the time. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll do group, we'll do themes. Sorry, let me do this button one more time here. I wanna get you tested here. And I can do more than just the three themes, right? I can... Co correct, yeah, you can have unlimited amount of themes. Yeah, C12, that can't get us anything. Uh, let's see, save. Okay, so last thing we're gonna do here is go down to groups. Let me see here. Okay, yeah, so we have all these groups that are selected. Let me put that back on green for you. Fantastic, so to get that last theme, we're gonna hit the theme button. I'll show you how to create your other theme. So to do an additional theme, something you want to do for yourself, for the, the test theme, so to speak, go ahead and hit the plus button, and we'll go ahead and create a new theme here. So in order to do that, we will add a group down at the bottom there, and it's going to show you all the groups that are available. So it could be that maybe you only want maybe the, this side of the, the water feature on and not the ones over there. So you could physically identify which group you would like to go ahead and uh, give energy to, okay. and that's indicated by the check mark there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so those are so all- then maybe, okay, oh, uh -huh. what about the statues now? Which ones are, are those? Like yeah. if I wanted to keep so that separate. Those would be five, five and, and seven. seven. So say I just want to maybe just highlight five and seven. Correct, yeah, you're getting the hang of this, yeah. Take okay. everything else away. Okay. Correct. Is that it? And yeah, that's it, and then we'll go and we'll hit back. the back button. And now you could, um, Enter that theme name, maybe statues, oh, if you yeah, like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I do that now? Oh, yeah. I have to do, I have oh, to do you, I no, you could, there. yeah, you could type it in there, I believe. Okay. All right. Okay, so statues. There we go. Now let's click on that guy there, the play button kind of thing. And these guys will go off. Let's see, do we get the play button on there? The flying statues theme. Let's just verify. I hit the right directional arrow there just to verify that two and seven. Oh, it's taking a little while. Mm -hmm. We can hit the, the top button here. That, that's kind of the off button. Hit the top off. There you go, that button right there. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, no great. Okay. No power. Okay. okay. Okay, so now we can go back to save and we'll hit the statue button one more time. Oh, statues. Oh, you know, I don't think we assigned a value to the uh, okay. statues. So if you click on the right directional arrow and uh, 66, yeah, so they should be on. Let me just take a peek for you. Eight, I believe. Oh, five and Not eight. Five and eight, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's five and all. It'll be five and eight. So, eight, five. And now, how do I add that? Come on over here, Lou. Uh, oh. Question, how to add... So, I, I deleted this, the seven. I've got to add... I want to be able to add the eight. The right? Uh, to, oh, okay, to yes. Five. We'll click on that guy there. We'll do add group at the bottom. Have to do it all over again. Yeah, just un uncheck everything. Okay, so the five is on. Okay. Yeah, five okay, and eight so with the save button. Okay, great. Yeah, there was. Save, and then, so then I want to change, just then I want to change the color now. So right now it's white. If I wanted to just correct, do, yeah. Um, right now it's green, and we want to assign a value up. to eight, some uh, energy to it. Okay. Right now it's at zero, so we, yeah, there we go. Just slide that guy up there. Perfect. Okay, so now we'll go and click on the uh, right directional arrow there for eight, okay. and then yeah, the color okay. button. Okay. And we can select the color there oh. as well. Okay. Well, it's... Yeah, okay. Yeah, and and so that see that right the center thing. Go ahead and drag that kind of marksmanship thing. Anywhere you want. And you see the different colors you get with that, the different hues. Oh, okay. Yeah, lighter, darker. So it gets yeah, really involved. That's where you have endless amount of colors. Kind of do like the gold right now. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah. I mean, I know it'll get. Yeah, and yeah, you can see the color in that box there as well okay. when you do it. And so we go and hit the save button up top. There you go, and you just created that color 12. Okay. So that's your color for the gold there. Okay. So we can hit the save button on that if you like. And now you know group eight is that particular color for the statues. Oh wait, that's five. Okay, and then that's it. Oh, but then the, the whole group, oh, yeah. that's the whole group, which is the well, two, Well, right? that's the, the color you selected would be 12. So if you hit the, the save button, we'll go back. Okay. Now just change five to color 12 as well. There we go, color 12. There Done. You, you just okay. did it. Cool. Yeah. So now you have four different themes, and like I said, your possibilities really are endless with that. Okay. As far as you know, the dimming capability, which is really nice, because on certain things you're going to want more uh, light, and other areas right. you want less light. Mm -hmm. So it really give that nice contrast. That'll be fun to, to play with. That. I mean, I kind of, I kind of have the idea now. Yeah. And so again, I have it going. If you hit the program button, and we'll go ahead and click uh, program A. I set program A up for you. And again, you have all these different programs you can go ahead and take advantage of. So what I did was program A, I put theme B, which is the color changing. So that will go on at sunset. And if you notice, uh, all lights at 12 midnight will go off. So if you wanted to change it, um, go and t tap on any one of those, the on or the off button. Or the, yeah. Um, yeah, any, the, any of these boxes, yeah. So the event would be 12 midnight, all lights off. If you wanted to change it, let's say, you're 11. staying up a little bit later at 11 p.m. Yeah. Go ahead and click on the 12 a.m. there. Any of that. And you could rotate that to 11. There you go. 11 p.m. Very good. Now we hit the save button. Okay. And that ought to do it. So when you come out, if... Um, and this is just sunset. It'll, it'll just automatically... Just yeah. It knows time. when sunset is. Okay. Yeah. It's hooked into the Wi-Fi. Um, so when you come out tonight, we'll hit the save button to kind of clear out that area there. Uh, hit, hit the themes button. So when you come out here tonight, it will automatically be on theme B, which is color changing. And you're probably going to see, hey, what does it look like with no color? And you'll click on that play button there. And, well, what's it look like all green? Okay, let me, let me, you know, then you just kind of bounce back and forth. Okay. But kind of for just the general every day, it'll be theme B. And then once you find a theme that you like, go into programs and make it instead of it theme B turning on, whatever theme you want to call it, like every day or every night. And then you can, yeah, or yeah. just between these hours and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, you can, and you could really dial that in. But so. actually doing that during the day, you don't really, you know, people aren't usually using the lights, right? No, I mean, no, yes, we have it going on, I think, so seven then. sunset, but okay. you could have it, you know, you could change to 8 p.m. Okay. Sunset's just a good overall 
uh, time frame okay. there. And so. it just goes by the natural sunset. Okay. Correct, here at, in Palo Verde. So. Okay, great. Yeah, hopefully that's enough. I didn't bore you, didn't overwhelm me too much. Um, you have the informational brochure.